this is something you are going to be working on for the rest of your life. So every level of skier should be working on edge similarity. 87%. Good work. is basically keeping your skis both the outside and the inside at the same edge angle all the way through the turn and I think critically where people lose it a lot is through the transition and start of the next one. Good edge similarity when you get it right you'll feel like there are there's there's also control in in like the rotational plane as well as like fore and aft. So we're going to dive into ways and some understanding of this important skill that even Ted Ligarty puts up there as one of the key foundational things to get right to become a great skier. The reason it's so important is edge similarity really is a combination of nailing great outside ski pressure, having some really good control of the, like the rotary direction of both skis as well as tipping it. I think where people like maybe have a pitfall is they think it's just tipping both skis uh, at, at the same rate like this, but I think it's a little more complex than that. And so I'm going to try and give you some insight into what I feel in order so both skis do tip similarly through the turn and then also tip similarly into the next one. So I think one of the things that's really critical for being able to nail and have, have really good edge, edge similarity in your turns has got to do with not overworking it. So I think a lot of people overwork the outside ski, so they're really trying to use a lot of ankle roll. I personally don't feel that. So it's very uh, like gradual, just enough, and, um, and like, like that's a really important part because what you're trying to do, that edging with both skis, is more in response to like the, the, the feeling of forces through a turn, not you overdoing it. If I was to give you one thing to concentrate on to help with edge similarity down here, it would be to focus on not just the sole of your foot, but three points that are on the side of your foot against the boot. So, so triangles, three points are always really stable. So I'm going to focus on not pushing really hard, but feeling pressure against the ball of my foot side, the side of my heel, and the side of my ankle bone. Okay. If I push hard into that, that's too far. If I just feel a bit of contact, bang on. Then I can do the same thing on this side. So one, two, three, ankle bone. That creates a triangle. I'm gonna focus on both of those. Then in the transition, the triangles under the soles of my feet. Then the triangles on the sides of my feet. So I'm just feeling those, not overdoing it. That'll probably tell me I'm doing it the right amount and it's gonna help me move both skis in symmetry and similarity together. So the great thing is with Carve, we can actually measure this. And so what I'm gonna try and go and do is work on these uh, three points and not overdoing it, just feeling contact. And then I'll make some turns where I really just try and roll my ankle and not really think about just being even, though, even on those three points. And I should be able to hear direct feedback if, that is, uh, if there's a difference. So I've turned on carve, I've gone into monitor modes, edge similarity, hit start, take a run with me, let's see if we can work on this real important skill. This monitor records your edge similarity. So I've got 64, feedback 62, that I need to improve my edge similarity, I'm going to start 66, focusing on those triangles. There we go, 76, 79, my outside not overdoing it. 79. The inside being the 72. same. There we go, getting up in more 70s. 81. I'm also going to focus 82. on it right at the start of the turn and the end. Start 82. of the turn and the end. So we've got uh, a little bit more mellow 64. terrain down here. 71. I can start carving 68. and start 71. thinking about and feeling. 61. Similar edge angles. 65, 63. There we 59, go. So I'm getting numbers like 63, 59, 76. 56. There we go. Up in the 70s. So now I know that's 
like where I need to be aiming, I'm going to see if I can feel those contact points. All right, so it's always good to sort of have a look at not good similarity. So if I'm really working just the outside and not the inside, oh, like it's a rougher journey, okay? I don't feel as smooth as working both together, okay? And now if I really just overdo the inside one, like I feel like my alignment <laughs> to my outside ski gets really like mucked up. So just finding the right amount, being patient with both skis to do it from the top, middle and end of the turn will really allow you, especially at the end of the day, to just kind of cut through this stuff. So let's do some really exaggerated ones, less than ideal. So like a stem, Christy, so definitely not in similar edges until the end. So most of the turn is not similar. Then it's sort of 42. getting closer to it. 40. And uh, 42. So I'm getting really bad scores. And then working 40. more towards something that's a little bit 40. closer. I mean, it is really hard. It does take 52. a lot of focus to get both skis 55. working together and not sort of start 42. or, you know, yeah, initiate your turns 40. one edge uh, and then another. You don't want to be sequential. One, two, you want to be simultaneous. So who's this for? I really think it's for everyone. So I made a comment around like beginners, you're probably going to be finding uh, a certain level of, of edge similarity and new feelings, especially with that inside leg, how active you're going to be. People that are pushing that advanced boundary, you're probably going to be finding it's changing in more dimensions than just here. Uh, I think it's uh, like good edge similarity when you get it right you'll feel like there are there's there's also control in in like the rotational plane as well as like fore and aft so there there are many things like this is something you are going to be working on for the rest of your life so every level of skier should be working on edge similarity and it's been great sharing some uh, some insights and some little tips with people and yeah I really hope it helps I think people, I, I, you know, I can't emphasize the expectations thing. Like, like just expect to be a little bit better. Like not, not, not as good as I'm skiing on this video, just a little bit better than you were at the beginning of the day. So yeah, that would be my big, big thing because we're all the hardest, we're the hardest on ourselves. Don't be hard on yourself, so have, have little expectations, just keep chipping away at it and you'll get there.